This week's podcast is brought to you by the new comedy, Fighting With My Family, produced by wrestling legend Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The movie tells the incredible true story of WWE superstar Paige and her hilarious wrestling family. It's funny, it's feel-good, and it's got all the action you want from a film centered around pro wrestling. On a side note, this is about the Knight family. I wrestled for the Knight family in Great Yarmouth 2004, 2005 many times, and it's so cool that not only are they part of a movie, but they're also promoting and sponsoring this show. Don't miss Fighting With My Family in select theaters February 14th and everywhere February 22nd. This week on the podcast, hey, we answer some questions. What happens when your lead announcer doesn't show up to work? And does Bandito speak English? Learn the answers and enjoy the show. This is the art of wrestling with professional wrestler Colt Cabana. It's Colt all right. How you guys doing? Come on in. Sit down. Relax. You're about to listen to The Art of Wrestling, a professional wrestling podcast. It's a life podcast. It's a personal journal. It's an entryway to the minds, the souls, the hearts, and the lives of the people involved in the world of professional wrestling. I am your host. My name is Colt Cabana. I'm a jobless commentator for a day. I'm also an entertainer. I'm also a British technician born in a Jewish man's body. Most importantly, though, I am a professional wrestler, and I am sitting here live in my studio apartment in Chicago, Illinois. Before we go any further, this is Fan Sport and Listener Sport Podcast, supported by people just like you. Give it to you free of charge every single Thursday, coltcommanda.com, iTunes, wherever you get your podcasts from. A couple great ways that you can support, rate, review, and subscribe on iTunes. Tell a friend, tweet it out, Facebook it out. The best way to support coltmerch.com, digitalcult.com, t-shirts, buttons, pictures, posters, DVDs, a children's book, an action figure, a micro brawler, and so much more. coltmerch.com, digitalcult.com. Another week. This was a week in Florida for Ring of Honor, Lakeland, Florida, and Miami, Florida. Night one would be a TV taping for Ring of Honor television. I would be there to do commentary. And then night two, I was going to wrestle Zack Sabre Jr., The first day, it actually started a little bit late because I had plans uh, Thursday and Friday out of state and going from Phoenix, Arizona to Tampa on a Saturday morning at 5 a.m., that's across the country, so you can't get into Tampa at noon. So I I was a little late and uh, I jumped in the car. It's Saturday. I'm driving from Tampa, Florida to Lakeland, Florida for Ring of Honor. I just got off a flight. Coming from Phoenix, Arizona, where I was at my buddy's bachelor party. Um, I guess the cool part of this schedule this week, there's a Saturday-Sunday show. So Thursday through Sunday bachelor party, I could go Thursday and Friday. So that was nice. So it's just today and tomorrow, a little loop of Florida, Lakeland, and Miami, Florida. I'm supposed to do commentary today and wrestle Zack Sabre Jr. tomorrow. But my commentary partner is going into labor, Ian Riccoboni. His, well, I guess his wife is going into labor, but I don't know if I'm even doing anything today. So this might be a free work day. This is a possibility. I have no clue, but I'm heading to the building, ready to start my work week, which is uh, these two shows. I made it to the venue. Nobody was worried about me or missed me or, or, or anything. I asked, do you need anything of me? No, nothing was needed of me. Ian Riccoboni going into labor. So I was just sitting around doing nothing. The show's about to start and I don't know, Bobby Cruz is an announcer. I'm a commentator. I thought maybe I'd bug him, see if, uh, I don't know, if there was anything for me to do or he could give me some work or, or anything. Bob, you want to be on the podcast? Oh my God, first time ever. We've only known, known each other 15 years. Are you running to do this show right now? Right now? Like, you're going to give me like 30 seconds? Really? What did you say? You're sad? You didn't, you're not going to hear me tonight? Yes, I'm going to miss commentary in my ear all night. What happened? Usually, you could you hear it the whole night? Yeah, of course. And and do you, do you fade me out all night? No, once in a while I take my uh, IFB, also known as an earpiece, out when I get a little tired of you. <laughs> Because I get annoying? Well, you and Ian. Well, I'm doing nothing tonight, and I look forward to listening to you announce. Is that really it? I can't be a guest? Like, What else do you want to talk about? You're, you have to go work right now. Another time? Rain check? What, what are you going to talk about? Whatever you want. Kids, wrestling, love, food. All right, rain check. Rain check, okay. Never experienced before with ROH Live. Good evening, Lakeland! episodes of the international television series, Ring of Honor Wrestling. (laughs) 
Ian not showing up to work. Uh, I wasn't the only one he put out of business. Caprice Coleman. He, he sometimes does commentary with Ian and myself. He was there, ready to do commentary. The ticket was bought. The hotel was paid for. He showed up too, but uh, nothing for Caprice either. You're sitting in the locker room doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, I think this is a night where we were expecting to do something and we're doing nothing. So let's do something. <laughs> I'm podcasting and I plan on leaving in about 20 minutes. So you're not going to do anything at all in about 20 minutes? Yeah, I'll be driving away from this building doing absolutely nothing. Are you going back to the hotel or are you going to get something to eat? Maybe a little bit of both. You interested in joining me? Absolutely. I have uh, something right after intermission, and then I have nothing the rest of the show. Oh, is that right? Maybe I'll stay till intermission. Yeah, that'll, that'll be awesome. I'll have a ride back. Yeah, oh, we'll make a date out of it. When did you not? When did you hear that you were doing nothing? Uh, actually, when I got here, I was in my hotel room, and I landed, and I got a text message that was saying, um, Ian is having a baby, so we're probably going to do the commentary on post, and we will find something for you to do. Okay, so you are doing I'm doing nothing. What are you doing? I'm doing an interview with Nick Aldis in the ring. Oh, well, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to it because um, it's for the NWA Crockett Cup uh, tournament. So I have some things I want to ask him that I'm very curious about. Because it's Nick Aldis, man. He's the NWA world champion. Hey, you got a partner for that Crockett Cup? Who, me? Yeah. I don't. You? I don't. Hey. I'm literally booking this on the second, but Lagan is here. I think I'm going to ask him. <laughs> we'd be a good team. Hey, we'd be the commentary team. We'd be like the team that nobody can put a table through. <laughs> yeah, we can call the match while we wrestle. Absolutely, absolutely. We just get tips from Jerry Lawler and ask him how did he do it. I think that'd be a great thing. We'd be commentary. I don't. What, what would we call us? RH commentary. <laughs> that, was, that was the saddest, most pathetic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the ring, R.H. Commentary. commentary. <laughs> oh, they sound good. I had A. I think we'll make it sound even better. Our finishing move would be the, uh, the, the mic stand or what we, the pitch. The pitch? I don't know. What would you call a finish? we got to have some kind of move to end everything off with. Five till break. Five till. There you go. There you go. Post. <laughs> <laughs> You're workshopping right here on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. you got 30 seconds. you got to feed it. Feed 30 seconds. <laughs> Stretch, maybe stretch. Stretch, stretch it out. Stretch Cabana it out. stretch and Capri stretch. And that's a wrestling term also. Do we announce with ourselves when we win? Like we yes. have to say. I, like, I think we announce ourselves to the ring also. Absolutely. I would actually pronounce the three counts as well. Like one. Oh my God, he kicked out. Anytime. You just got to be excited because you're not expecting it. And so I would like the same excitement that I give other people during my match. I don't feel anybody else could do it but me. So if me and you are in there and we're the ones that normally do color, it would only make sense that we would be the ones that if somebody kicks out our own stuff, we're excited about it. Like, what? how did that happen? I think this is, I'm going to go politic right now. I think we're on to something, but we might want to do it after we eat, because if we do it now, they might put us on the show. Oh, we, the idea would be so hot. And yeah. They'd be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Cancel everything. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, hey, are you, are you, do you wrestle around North Carolina anymore? Uh, when was the last time you wrestled? I don't know the last time I wrestled. Damn it, Caprice. I honestly, I think the last time I wrestled was Ring of Honor uh, in a battle royal, maybe. How come you don't wrestle? Well, I'm exclusive. And you are exclusive? Yeah. Yeah. And so I can't wrestle anywhere. I still train. I still stay in shape. I want to wrestle. I think I still got it going on. I'm still pretty, and I'm in good shape. Fucking more jacked than I'll ever be. Yeah, I'm in pretty good shape. That means I'm good looking and I'm in good shape. Oh, okay. Pretty good. I'm not sure if that team is going to happen, but the show is happening. I don't even know if I'm on the show. But Marty Skrull is facing Nick Aldis for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. It is a Crockett Cup, and it is in North Carolina April 27th. I did split a little early. Caprice did not. He was a little too scared. What a rebel I am. I don't think I'd get in trouble with any office people. I didn't do anything. I don't even think I should have been there. I just went back to the hotel, and uh, from the bachelor party, it was a pretty nuts weekend, so went to the hotel, got as much sleep as possible, and woke up the next day rejuvenated and ready to go. And I did. I jumped in a car, myself, Jonathan Gresham, Juice Robinson, and my two new Mexican friends, Roosh and Bandito. I'm going to assume Bandito makes his... United States podcasting debut here on the Art of Wrestling. Habla inglés. Comprende podcast? Podcast. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have those in Mexico. Mm, we don't have. 
we don't listen. No? No, no, no. No, is there any wrestlers with podcasts? Mm, I think just uh, Penta, Conan. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, Conan has Conan one. Have podcast. Penta has? Uh, Penta, maybe go with him. Oh, Phoenix. on Conan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how do you like America? Uh, I love America. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love America. I love American wrestling. Uh, that's incredible. Uh, what, what do you like most? Of, what, what do you, non-wrestling, what do you like most? Like a... Uh, What excites you? Oh, for America, I love Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Los Angeles City, yeah, oh my God. It's my favorite city in America. And I want to go to Las Vegas. Las Vegas, yeah, yeah, soon. Yeah. yeah, I hope. Are you a big gambler? Uh, no, never. No, never. Yeah, never, never. Will you in Vegas? I uh, Maybe slot Maybe machines? one time, yeah. One time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now that you, you, you're a big money man. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Now that you have many pesos. <laughs> many pesos, yeah, yeah. Uh, so today we were in the same car together. Four hours, Tampa oh, yeah. to Miami. Yeah. How are the trips in uh, Mexico? Usually like big bus or? Yeah, we, uh, in big companies we have a big bus. Mm -hmm. But always in indie shows, uh, it's like a... Like a car, so Just maybe, car. yeah, maybe flight. Do you, a flight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. fly a lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't know. I, I like uh, stay in the car because I think it's more communication with the, yeah. with the uh, friends. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, good. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Today was easy, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's easy. And uh, I, I teach you Spanish and you teach me more si, English. Si, yeah, si, yeah, si, yeah. Si. You can talk now in Spanish, please. Me? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Uh, oh, what did I... Tregar. Tregar. <laughs> no? <laughs> Rush. Learn that, really? Tregar. I'll teach you. To eat. Uh, yeah, 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 but... But I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> <laughs> is that not right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tragar. 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 Tragar is like a... Uh, like a angry, you know? Yeah. Hey, I'm fucking hungry. Oh, okay. That, yeah. But in America, we say... Uh, so, hungry and angry. Hangry. Oh. I teach you. Like a... Uh, Snickers bar. Wow. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> hangry. I'm hangry now. Yeah. But yeah, usually yeah. it's like um it's just like a like a hot a hot girl who's kind of bitchy, you know? Like uh oh, I'm hangry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, like, I want I want beer. <laughs> I want vodka <laughs> and and food. <laughs> I love Chipotle. <laughs> Uh, good voice, good voice. Thank yeah, you, yeah, yeah. thank you. Do you like my hat? I love your hat. Yeah. A sombrero. Yeah, a sombrero. What does that represent? Did you actually? Do you ever? Did you wear that in real life? Uh, before? Yeah. No. Like as a kid or anything? No, 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 no. 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 This is my first head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought they just give those out in Mexico. <laughs> like what? Like oh, it's your birthday. Here's a sombrero. Oh no, 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 no. This is expensive. Is it? Yeah, the head and the the jacket is very expensive. Where'd you learn English? Uh, Escuela? Well, no, with you guys. With you. With Just with wrestlers? Yeah, yeah, with wrestlers, yeah. Fuck! You picked it up? You understand now? Uh, I think, yeah, a little bit. Only from American wrestlers? Yeah, from American wrestlers, people to tell me a lot of good things. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> I took two years of Spanish in high school, and it's shit. Really? No good. No I, bueno. I, I'm bad for the school. Never. Uh, I, I have uh, uh, English class, but never, never learn. Don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> but now you're like, oh, I wrestle yeah, in America. Yeah, yeah. yeah Maybe yeah. learn English. Uh, uh, when I come here, I say, oh fuck, I I need to learn more English. For yeah, to yeah, make yeah. money for job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's true. Yeah, 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 but. Uh, the people in America always help you. Yeah. Always, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always help me. And when I listen, now I can understand more than yeah. than four months. You were yeah. you were teaching Roosh. You teach yeah, Roosh. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe At grocery Russian store, you say, this ham sandwich, chicken. Yeah. Side. <laughs> I watch, I watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, rice. Muy bien. Muchas gracias, amigo. Gracias, amigo. Donde esta el biblioteca? <laughs> okay. ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? Sí, sí. Muchas gracias, amigo. Okay, okay. Regards. Adiós, adiós. adiós. Regards. You know, I do know one Spanish word that I could teach you all here. It's gratis. And that means free. 
And I'm going to get you some free Blue Chew if you want some. And that is our sponsor today, Blue Chew. Like the great Val Venus once said, let's talk about sex. Or maybe that was uh, salt and pepper, right? WrestleMania 10 rappers, it still ties in. BlueChew.com is going to increase your performance and get you extra confidence in bed. BlueChew.com brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. You can take them anytime, day or night. And since they're chewable, they work up to twice as fast as a pill. So you can be ready whenever the opportunity arises. I assume pun intended on that one. This isn't just for guys with dysfunctions or the Milwaukee wrestler named dysfunction. It's for any guy who wants to enhance their performance in the bedroom. Blue Chew is prescribed online and shipped straight to your door in a discreet package. That means no in-person doctor visits, no waiting in the pharmacy, no more awkwardness. Blue Chew is made in the U.S., and since it ships directly, it's cheaper than a pharmacy. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment gratis. That means free when you use our special promo code COLT. Just pay $5 shipping. That's B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com. Promo code is COLT. Try it for free. Blue Chew, the better, cheaper, faster choice. I'll be honest, I probably understand Spanish more than I do British, but I try to keep up with the Brits, just like my friend Zach Saber. You were doing, uh, is that your phone over there? It was. Sorry. Hi, it's Kenny King. Kenny King, getting a shout out. Kenny uh, King, you handsome devil, get out of, uh, get out of the microphone shot, please. Can I, you were doing a promo and I came in afterwards. Yeah. And I said, uh, hey, you know, good exhibition. To give me a code of honor. And as I was saying it, because you were talking, I just found myself talking British. Oh, I didn't notice that. No, I didn't, but I'm going to... Come on, come on now. Oh, it no. was a good exhibition. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I'm not sure about that. But the way I said, like, I, if it was just me, I'd say, hey, it was a good exhibition. But I was like... Because it's me? I go, it's a good exhibition. Because like, you guys, like, up it at the end, right? The British. The British. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, I'm not sure about the British. You know, those British. Oh, that's very, do you find yourself talking Americanized when you? Because no, never. No, I just get more. I get embarrassingly English. Or I either go two ways. I become like far. Like I'm not posh at all. Like super working class. So I either become really posh or really geezer, like Cockney, which isn't me at all. So both both avenues are really embarrassing. Because like a known thing for hipsters. Excuse me. In America, no, it's not coming to you. In America, whoever come, if you come back and you spent like a week in England, you'll come back and you'll just say cheers. Like that's like a no. Oh, really? Thing, right. I don't know. Is that, do the British do that? I think Brit- no. British people just become more obnoxiously British. I think just everyone becomes to try to really stand out. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I really don't know. To really peacock themselves. Well, that's what just happened afterwards. And I want to know if you uh, if you fu- if you saw it or not. I didn't. I didn't notice. But I'm probably you probably do it around me all the time though. It's, it wasn't on purpose. It's like it just came out of me. Yeah, and yeah. Is that is that how we're playing this one? I wish it didn't. Right. So I was going to ask you when I'm going to see you next, but that probably can't be announced yet, can it? Oh, in Japan. Yeah. Oh. Okay. For, for, for the February shows. Yeah. Those have been announced. Oh, you've been, what you that you're on them. That I'm on. Them. Oh, great. Yeah, they don't know my match, but I'm okay. I'm on them. Oh, that's very. And exciting. we haven't been friends in Japan since. Um, since our nowadays. Since the old pro wrestling nowadays. Since the Vine days, <laughs> since when you were just constantly making vines, it was an utter nuisance. Was it though? <laughs> but no, they, they were they were very they were highly amusing, but they were usually somehow sort of the bane of my life. <laughs> it's very important to entertain yourself. Oh, we had a great one with Shane Thorne. Shane and what's his name? Shane Haste. Shane Haste. What's his fake name now? Is it Shane I Thorne? I think you said it. Shane Thorne. He's Shane Haste. Shane Haste. Yeah. There was a great one with him where he turned into Daisuke Sakamoto. Remember that? Oh yeah. If you could, you need to make a compilation and put them on a on one of the modern World Wide Web things. <laughs> now that Vine is gone, you have a TikTok. You got a TikTok? What on earth is a TikTok? Tic Tac. No, I don't know what Tic Tac is. Tic Tac. It's, it's, it's oh, the cool app. Why, why do they, Why do all apps have just horrific names? Well, it Tic was musically, which was good, was actually was really really cool. That's musically, but Tic Tac is. Kenny, you got Tic Tac? Um, I have a twelve year old daughter. She has Tic Tac. <laughs> it, it sounds like something that's not wrong with you. You got. <laughs> I got a case of the Tic Tac. Is, is, is he all right? No, I think he's got the Tic Tac. <laughs> it's stick in my tuck. Yeah. yeah. Can Can your talk tick or does the tick? Oh, you just sound old now. I'm cool. I get it. I know oh, TikTok. Yeah. Okay. You're just an old man. Yeah, I don't. I don't play computer games. I don't. I, just I'll, Morrissey. Just, no, because Morrissey's dead to me because he's a, he's just an awful person. It turns out. You were gonna say twat, and then you you fixed yourself. Well, I was, I was certainly not gonna say twat. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something far more offensive. But I probably shouldn't. Uh, okay. He's an idiot. 
He is a wanker. Despite a very talented songwriter, but an idiot nonetheless. Okay. So I will see you in Japan. Yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, Are you gonna you can come try some uh, vegan food in Japan with me. Do they have that there? Yeah, they've got some great restaurants. Yeah, pretty good. I have no interest. Cool. <laughs> it's yaki miku. It's all the meat in the world, and that's. It. Well, cool. No, you don't need to do that because like I just grill like onions and and peppers, and everyone laughs at me. It's. <laughs> You, oh. you'll, you'll find it highly amusing. Yeah, yeah, okay. If, if it's all about coming and laughing and making fun of you. Especially after I've had like, the quiet sort of, uh, you know, like really, really good conversations with people sort of like explain, you know, some Japanese people really don't understand about veganism. So I'll sort of explain that, like, oh, wow, you know, like I completely get it. And then we'll be in a, like a Korean barbecue restaurant and they just bring out a really basic like vegetable platter and they're just like, oh, no. <laughs> Kenny King, so desperate to get involved. Here's your big chance, Kenny. Let's see what, see what you got. What are you doing, looking at flights? Yeah, I've got to... Uh book my girlfriend a flight oh you heard it here first he was on the bachelorette and now he's got a girlfriend it's true it's true but these are all terrible flights so didn't you live down here no i live in, in didn't you live down here yes yes i lived in orlando for a bit no, no I, i'm going to uh san francisco guys this is what we do in the locker room we just look for flights for girlfriends <laughs> well I, trust me this is not my I what, are, what are we paying what are we paying talk, four hundred dollars now i don't even this is not good content. Zach X, if this is good content, song. you're out of here. Not good content. He, he had nothing. Just farting around on his phone. Flying women. What a life. You know who did have something? Brian Malonis, who is a fun new addition to the Ring of Honor locker room. He's a very large man. And like he talks about here in a second, it is a new time in professional wrestling where we don't have to have abs. I mean, it's been like that for me for 20 years, thankfully. I've been consistently working and flying over the world but brian hasn't and he's got himself a contract and uh he's gonna talk to me on the podcast we are in lovely miami florida at the u at the me the u yeah the u right there look i know it's a audio podcast yeah. but i'm making the miami well, hand signal if we're in chicago and juice can attest to this the u is channel 26 w wciu oh okay you just got it <laughs> into the kit. <laughs> and then whatever the commercial was, you's got it. <laughs> right at the end. I like this. It's got a little yeah. soul in this voice. Is that the right you? Are we yes. talking about the same use? No, I think we're talking about the University of Miami. Oh, okay. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh, he played. He, at this, do you think he fought in, in front of as many people as that was there tonight? <laughs> Maybe. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. You know, He's fought in front of a few, few people in his career, I mm-hmm. think. Uh, have you ever wrestled in Miami? I have not. This is my first, uh, first ever time wrestling in Florida mm-hmm. last night and tonight. I was going to say, so you, the big news coming out of the world is a big contracted man for you, right? Yeah, yeah. It's been a long a long road, a long journey. So, so tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I started 17 years ago. I started with Killer Kowalski. Um, I mean, you, you know, Colt, the era of d- that WWE era, I felt was very much like, um, you know, a, not making excuses just it was a cookie cutter they it was 6'2 240 era yeah i was uh, gonna say usually I, I say the sean o'hares the mark Jindrax, <laughs> right yeah and uh so i spent the the majority of of my career in that era i came up with uh warbeard hansen tomaso champa who are, who are also doing great now and um a couple of years ago I, the funny thing is i'd actually after my daughter was born sort of like just like all right i'm just gonna be this local uh indie guy and that's just sort of where where it ended for me and um, I just I just decided to give it one more go, so I decided to do a Ring of Honor um, a Ring of Honor tryout camp. Uh, made some good impressions there. Got to do the top prospect tournament. Um, got used sporadically for a year or so, and then uh, last December, it's funny I hadn't been used in a while, so I thought, well, that, that's the end of it. That was nice. That was fun. And um, the, Todd Sinclair called me, told me they had an idea for me, and. Uh, for a year, me and the Beer City Bruiser have been have been teaming, um, and then recently, um, you know, I just I approached them and asked them if it was a possibility. <laughs> and uh, hey guys, uh... <laughs> you know, it's funny as you, as you build up these things. At, le- at least for me, like I, I built up this thing in my mind. Like yep. I had this elevator pitch, of course, in my mind, and it was probably the easiest conversation I've ever had in pro they were wrestling. Just like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here you go. It literally <laughs> was like that, though. It and was... you were sweating for about it for fucking three months, probably. Yeah, yeah. I was. I was like, because uh, you know, all the stuff going on here and people coming and going and all that, and you had, I didn't want to. Um, you know, I didn't. I didn't want to try to like, hey, I'm the priority. What do you, you know? They had lots on their plate, and so the timing I think was in, was important and mm. to be respectful of 
what was going on. And, um, but yeah, I, uh, easiest conversation I ever had, uh, got the contract two weeks later and couldn't sign it and return it fast enough. Okay. I did, I did read it and have a lawyer read it, uh, before, before signing it just to make sure. But, uh, well, what is a lawyer going to really tell you? I remember I, so one of my friends signed a WWE contract and they had a lawyer read it and they're like, I mean, yeah, this contract is awful, but what are you going to do? <laughs> Say no? Like, <laughs> yeah. And that's kind of the, that's kind of hey, the, my lawyer said that this is the shit. <laughs> Here's what I need. Here's the provisions I need. Yeah. I mean, it was a long holdout process. I, uh, I got lots of perks. Of one week. <laughs> yeah, I got, uh, you know, luxury boxes. No. no. Uh, in all honesty, I'm just, I'm, I, to get to this point after so long, um, it's, it's really fulfilling, really rewarding. Um, I really am grateful uh, just to have the opportunity at this point. It, were you, I like that you said you were, you were like, well, I'll just do it locally. Were you ever like, well, I'm done? Or were you just like... Well, I'll just do the shows that I get booked for around Boston or whatever. Yeah, I was. It was just I was really tied in with a company called Chaotic Wrestling uh, up in Massachusetts, and um, I had actually started to do like I started to uh, kind of work behind the scenes. I was training at the school. Um, they had they had a wrestling school, so I was training there. Uh, then I just started taking on more and more responsibilities to the point where I was I was booking. I was doing everything, and that's just kind of what I thought. Um, kind of just that's thought, what it would be. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I, and I was at, I was at peace with it, and it was. Ironic enough, like they they aff- <laughs> they offended me. Like they they kind of made me feel like I was less than. And Who's it, they? What uh, you like the owners of Chaotic, the oh, owner of okay. Chaotic. I kind of had like a. And we're good now, but I had a little like um, j- just the manner they were kind of booking me or, or like viewing me as like I, I was old and like like I couldn't still have good matches and and that really is what kind of lit the fire mm. under me and. Um, I kind of get that chip on my shoulder again. Um, That's what does it, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I think I mean, I'm one of those people that, that it drives you. Yeah, having the chip on chip on my shoulder. Um, a, a lot of the you just have a whole bag of chips. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, you know the deal. Let's go go to TVs, get the door shut in your face. Hey, you're good, but uh, you're fat, <laughs> like like that sort of thing. And yeah, that does put a chip on your shoulder. But then it gets to a point where it just it just messes with your mind and it beats you down a little bit. Should we, I think maybe we'll save, maybe we'll save the Vince McMahon or the John Cena. Was it Vince or John Cena? It was both. Oh my God. Maybe we'll save that for another podcast. All right. <laughs> That's a little story. teaser. That's yeah. a little teaser. It's a good story. Oh my God. <laughs> Spoiler. He wrestled them. Uh, he sort of, John Cena was the referee. And, all, right, well, that's all, right, all right. We'll save we'll it for another. That. We'll get you on another week. All right. Thanks. Congratulations. Cole. Thank you, sir. And you can, you can YouTube that too. So we'll we'll get that story on a future podcast with Brian Malonis in a future different locker room. But it's on YouTube. Vince McMahon ain't fucking around with the indies, man. He knows a hot indie when he sees it, and it's obviously chaotic wrestling. All right, friends, that is the show for the week. Before we get out of here, though, let's get into some plugs and upcoming events. Uh, the best way to support ColtMerch.com, DigitalColt.com, Twitter and Instagram at Colt Cabana, Facebook slash Colt Cabana, my storytelling podcast, Pro Wrestling Fringe, plus past archives of this show, old and new, are ad-free on StitcherPremium.com slash Colt. Use the code Colt, get a free month. ColtWrestling at gmail.com is my very public email. Maybe a promoter want to put me on your upcoming show or convention or even be documented on this very podcast. I also got a YouTube channel. I also got a website, ColtCabana.com. That's where you can find my P.O. box. Send me something fun. Upcoming Sunday, February 17th, Duluth, Minnesota, HeavyOnWrestling.com. Friday and Saturday, February 22nd and 23rd, Tokyo, Japan, NJPW1972.com. Saturday, March 2nd, Vancouver, Canada. AllStar-Wrestling.com April 3rd through the 6th I'll be in New York City adjacent WrestleMania weekend adjacent Wednesday, Rahway, New Jersey WrestleProOnline.com Thursday, Queens, New York DDTPro.com Thursday night at 11pm AIWrestling.com All day, Friday and Saturday And Friday night, Wrestling with Joey Ryan's Penis Party That's all at WrestleCon.com Saturday night, I'll be at The Garden for ROHWrestling.com And Saturday, April 20th Anchorage, Alaska. Tell your friends in Anchorage, Alaska. Also, I'll be doing a live podcast the night before, too. WrestleProOnline.com. Intro music is by the Ukulele Teacher on YouTube. Outro music by Super Fun. Yeah, yeah. Rocket Ship. Podcast cover art and design by Jimmy Lee. Photo by James Musselwhite. Thanks to Zack Sabre Jr., Brian Malonis, Bandito, Bobby Cruz, Caprice Coleman, and sure... 
even Kenny King. Thanks to our sponsors, HighSpots.com, an amazing VOD service with a brand new $5 wrestling and a couple more to come here in the future, plus PWGs, Egos Amigos, AMA knee pads, gear, wrestling masks, even a wrestling ring. And OneHourTees.com, they help run ProWrestlingTees.com. I got some shirts on there. It's the best place that you can support all your favorite independent wrestlers. All right, Ian Riccoboni, we are thinking about you. We are hoping for a baby, a healthy, healthy baby. Speaking of babies, congratulations to Wrestle Circus owner Al and Lexi. They had a child, very cute on Instagram, and we're hoping Shane Taylor's got a baby here coming out soon too. It's baby time. Who to thunk? Early 2019 baby time. All right, this has been the Art of Wrestling for Colt Cabana. I'm Colt Cabana. Thanks. Rocky Romero gave me good competition. Hey, mate. This guy gave me good honor. competition. Code of honor, good match. No, I don't care about the code of honor. You can still go, Colt, but you're not on my level, mate. Code so of honor, it was a good exhibition. Yeah, you're a great wrestler, but you're not on my level, so get out of my time, please. Yeah, go on. Go and jog on, mate.